I say every cloud has a silver lining so this is my last bag of Charlotte and they're much bigger obviously because they've been in the soil a lot longer so I'm going to wash them off pat them dry and weigh them so that lovely little lot is three pounds 5.1 ounces Oh, this has cheered me up. Look at these. These are the Scotch Bonnet and they're a beautiful colour. And I've got some more around here. That will ripen. There's the jalapeno. I'm leaving them on the plant for as long as I can to see what colour they go to. If they can go red. So I usually pick them when they're green. Got quite a lot in the freezer, so I'm in no rush for any of them. So we'll leave them and see how they get on. So this is the Cheyenne. I've had to spray this with soapy solution because it had lots of little visitors on it. Um, but I'm not really sure if you can see if I can get under here. Lovely colour on that. Break. Well, I hope you're all okay. Um, the sun is out, which has inspired me. I've just um, had four days at work. I had yesterday off, but the weather wasn't very good, and uh, I just potted about indoors and didn't really do for very much at all in the garden. But today, now I've come out, and um, it's been a really really lovely early morning with beautiful blue skies it's getting quite cloudy now but it's still sunny so what my intention to do today is um, I'm gonna tidy up my fruit cage I let that flag go by So I'm going to um, tidy up the fruit cage. I'm going to have a really good um, look around the garden, evaluate everything. Some of the plants are coming out today. I'm going to try and um, clear, or, or sorry, tidy up the main flower bed which runs alongside the fence line. So if there's time, I'm going to go down the garden centre as well because I'd like to um, see if they've got any onion sets that I can put in. Um, garlic, because I like putting that in every year. Um, and see what else they've got because I'm, I haven't really sown much over the last six weeks. So um, I've got a bit of a gap uh, now, now, now I'm bringing stuff out very early. I'm going to have a lot of spaces. So, yeah, I don't quite know what I'm going to do at the moment. One thing I need to concentrate on, though, is the soil. I am beginning to wonder if I've asked too much of the garden over the last few years. It's been very, very productive, but it may have taken its toll and I need to really concentrate now on enriching the soil. Um, I've always thought I took care of the soil, but I think maybe the amount of planting that's been going on might have stripped it of a lot. So I'm thinking about getting the soil testing kit, which I've never done before. That'd be interesting to see what that comes up with. Um, and then I'm gonna make every effort to really really boost my soil because I think really healthy soil will produce really healthy and strong plants and healthy and strong plants can withstand a lot more problems so I think I'm gonna have to 
think of next year maybe as year one again. So um, draw a line under this year's um, disasters. So you see how I get on today. Right, so this is the Loganberry, and as you can see, it is wildly overgrown. The reason for that is we've, the last few weeks, we've had an awful lot of rain, and it's just gone rampant. Uh, and with Loganberry, it only fruits on the previous year's growth. So what I need to do now is remove all the old growth that had the fruit on this year. So that's like these bits. I'm remove all of these. And then the new growth, I'm going to pick what I'm going to keep and tie them in for next year. And remove what I don't want. So, like I say, it looks a right mess at the moment, but it's going to look a lot tidier in a while. So I'm going to take this one out. So I need to follow it down and cut that out. Oh. That's quite a pile, so I've got to break all that down. So this is the front row. So what I need to do now, I'm going to give it a, um, a feed of Epsom salts. So I've just weeded all that gravel from the bird seed. And all this here, I'm going to put some more peas in in a short while. I've also trimmed back the rows, so that looks a lot more respectable now and neat. So my next job is I'm going to take out the sprouting broccoli because it hasn't really produced a lot. It's attracting loads of cabbage white butterflies. I think I've only had about three or four sprouts off the whole lot. I've got to take the sweet corn stumps up. So I'm going to sort this bed out and then I've got to sort out this flower bed. A sad sight for the middle of August. I can't do any more today, that's it, exhausted. Still got beans to do in that end. At least it's all out now. I'll plan for the next stage. <laughs> 